Welcome to Assassin, the double dagger wielding melee assassin that wields strength and crit. We're gonna do a deep dive today, give you some of my first impressions on the class and what it could potentially do, and whether it's for you. Yuma here with another Moonlight Blade mobile video here in global North America. Um, Assassin's out. We're gonna be covering it first impressions and uh, we're going to break down the first set and skill set and what's best to use in certain situations starting with the first set the 1v1 gel set we're going to cover each one at the same um, at a time so the first skill that we use is soul blast now the soul blast you can cast willow breeze to teleport out of the area after dealing additional damage to enemies in the area soul blast this is how it looks normally um, doesn't have much targeting, it's stationary, but you can actually um, use that part where it said Willow Breeze, where you can have an enhanced dash, that, and it does additional damage. So you can't really move out of this, but you can dash out of it. Let's try that again. It changes your... Um, dodge into an extra attack as well as ability to animation cancel and move out of your first scale so something to take note of now your second um, skill is flying sparrow this does have a little bit of targeting to it you also get super armor the sparrow stance immune to control effects while channeling this skill and it also the second hit deals 50 percent more damage if there's only one target Yeah, I mean, it still lands, but usually when I combo, the flying thing goes towards the enemy. So let's see if we can figure that out. You can see it also does a little bit of a knockdown. Interesting. Well, we'll do a full combo to see how this fully works and have it fully fleshed out. Mm -mm. Okay, well, third skill is Life Hunter. Dash towards the target and strike them over multiple hits. Um, this also generates Mirage. When hit, after the skill hits the target, you can knock them up as well with your next auto attack. So it's very good to know this is your bread and butter engager. So you can go from here, auto, and it's a knock up. Okay. Uh, and then your fourth skill. This is the one that needs practice. Um, you know, most people, most classes use their auto attacks to continue their chain. This is a, a four-part skill. You have to press this multiple times. So look at here at the bottom right. When I press it, one, two, three, and then four. Oh, and then there's a little bit of extra wind up there. During that whole thing, they cannot, uh, they can escape. So this is more of a follow-up skill and not an engage skill when you use the fourth skill. Something to take note of. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. Long wind up time. Once they get into that little motion where they're up in the air, they can escape. But the first two parts, uh, they can block and react. Uh, during that phase so something to be very wary of or the follow-up skill and then the fifth skill is your stealth skill um, this allows you to escape so in certain situations as long as you're on the ground you can escape they stun you knock you uh, knock you down or anything like that you can use this as a escape something like the strategist alt as well but not as strong. Um, you're immune to damage from most skills during the first two seconds of stealth. Um, you automatically scan nearby enemies. Each successful scan extends your stealth by 1.5 seconds. So automatically this is like 6.5 seconds uh, stealth state. It, uh, locks the target, preventing them from casting drift skills. I'm assuming this is large skill. That's what they're talking about. Uh, moonlit cross against enemies locked be 
by blind bat force shadow spike dealing massive damage and reducing the respite of phoenix termination so i tried this and it doesn't work the description here shadow spike moonlit cross against enemies locked by blind blind bat force becomes shadow spike uh moonlit cross being your auto attack so once you're out of stealth you should be auto attacking to make use of the shadow spike dealing massive damage and reducing the respite time of phoenix termination which is your fourth skill and i'm i think what it means by respite time it means cooldown basically it would reduce your cooldown of the fourth scale by seven seconds none of what is stated here works in the stealth section the only thing in the stealth section that does work is um increase your stealth time by 1.5 seconds for each scan and it locks the target uh preventing them from using their dodge skill for the next five seconds aside from all of that none of this works it doesn't suppress the target uh so i'm confused so as you can see here it locks onto the target it takes a, a couple a, a second or two to lock on and it just it wouldn't um it just doesn't doesn't suppress them when you use their your auto Jeez. i don't think it's working as intended um but just use the stealth as an escape skill basically the stealth um helps you get out of uh out of like suppression so whenever you get knocked down uh stunned you can use the stealth scale the only time you can't use it is when you're up in the air uh, so just use it more as an escape more than anything and disengage stop momentum for example like this now for your trigger skills you got Dark Mist Blade, triggered upon entering combat, blinks a short distance and strikes enemies ahead. Uh, your auto attacks will reduce this by 4 seconds. Every last hit of your auto attack. So you can actually spam this quick trigger pretty often. Um, as for Snake Pierce, this is when your Mirage Bar is at max. And this skill will strike all enemies in front and pull them towards you. Your Mirage Bar is this thing right above your auto attack. Other classes have a different bar as well for other quick time or trigger skills of their own. So you can see I already have my Mirage Bar up. So if I press my quick time for Snake Pierce, it pulls them over and it keeps them in that position a little bit um, dazed. Uh, displacement, as you can see, you dash or blank a little forward. And if you do the last attack, it will shorten the cooldown as stated in the description a lot of people i see with the chinese version garena moonlight blade they like to kind of go in first with that and then use soul blast uh, the reason being is because in mastery if you use your soul blast first and then life hunter which is your third skill if you look in the talents it will reduce your soul blast cooldown by five seconds so let's show that real quick if you displace soul blast rush see there it reduced the cooldown um, so instead of it being um how many how many seconds was it instead of it being 12 it turned out being seven that's pretty much it uh other things to take note of if you look in your talent section your fourth skill the four part skill deals more damage to people under indomitable effect the super armor effect uh, deals 10 percent more damage uh, so it's very good against tanks in that sense uh you got soul devour so anytime you use your first skill the third skill or snake pierce you will inflict a symbol above their head after 10 seconds, the symbol will explode, dealing damage equal to 20% of your combat power, slowing the target and making the target take damage over time. Really, really strong. Make use of that. Um, aside from that, I think that's all that needs to be taken note of. So let's show the symbol here. There's a Soul Devourer mark. A little black, 
gross symbol above their head. And then let's see it pop after 10 seconds. Now they start taking damage over time. And that's it. So that's that's pretty much the first skill set. Uh, I'll show some gameplay of it. So we start off with some 1v1 mirror matchups. Um, I feel like this class has struggles with engagement. How to engage the enemy first. I tried to do displacement and the first skill, but didn't really land anything. Um, wasted my second skill as well. Went into stealth, tried to get the advantage over them. We both have no more escapes, so I used my fourth skill into first skill into second skill and using my displacement whenever I can as well as auto attacks to lower the cooldown of displacement back into the third skill and then they use their block and then I use my block to counter their block and I just have the whole momentum uh, I'm very much in control of my cooldowns compared to the enemy so it's pretty much GG from here and as you can tell they have a stronger uh, prowess than I do since I'm yellow icon on this account and they are red icon but we popped off into the next one so next one is a assassin versus enchanter matchup they are weaker than me uh, I think uh, because I'm emperor icon they're legend icon so they're one icon weaker uh, I bait the attack with my block, trying to get an engage on them, didn't go as planned. I made them waste their second escape, go with the stealth into dash, into first skill, into second skill, using my displacement and snake pierce whenever they're available to continue the pressure. Just distancing myself now to get the cooldowns off, go back in for the engage, try to avoid the knockout from the enchanter, did really well. Don't forget your second skill has super armor, so you can always use that to kind of push through aggressively into uh, them. Doing extremely well in avoiding the knockups from enchanter i feel like that's what assassin has a good advantage of is the um, ability to keep yourself moving so this enchanter really didn't stand much of a chance but to be fair they are weaker now we have a assassin versus guardian matchup the guardian being stronger their god of wind on only emperor icon bait out their block Gave them the initiative, which is fine. Got the knockup. I don't even know what happened there, but that's okay. Knockup into first skill, into second skill, and displacement. Got the block out. I'm trying to get my fourth skill out, but you can, as you can tell, you can't really start with your four skill you need to ensure you use the four skill as a follow-up when they don't have any escapes or super armor so a lot of situational moments first skill four skill follow-ups second and third as your engages and fifth as an escape you got your displacement always on hand just for a little extra damage. Your block counter does give a, uh, not block counter, sorry. Your escape does have a knockup effect, which is really nice. Went for stealth so they couldn't target me and then just finished off with a close gap rush. Um, combo's pretty straightforward, I think. My combo hasn't really deviated. Now we are fighting a Flutus. They are weaker than me. Definitely looks like a bot, but they are a player, surprisingly. But um, 
Same, same uh, pattern, I guess, for Assassin. Always trying to use the force skill when they have no more escapes. And using your stealth just to get out of these sticky situations. Using your third skill to knock up. Followed by first skill. Followed by second skill. I missed the second skill, but that's okay. Yes, they don't have any more escapes. So just use all parts of the fourth skill. Go in. Rinse and repeat. It's the same old. Not really much to explain there. Honestly, it's kind of hard to find good 1v1 matchups. Uh, maybe due to my rating on this account, but just overall in general, the population is dwindling. So getting good fights is hard to come by, and I don't want to waste too much time. So you get the gist of it, the basics, and we're going to move on. All right, on to the second set. First scale, second scale, same as always. Your snake pierce, the pull from your quick time trigger. Uh, is now on your third slot and you have a new dash on your fourth slot uh, fifth slot is still stealth but a different um, mechanic tied to your stealth uh, dark mist blade is the same you have that dash and then you have winter crow which is like uh, another dash as well that teleports you directly onto the target so i'll show you guys through some bot matching real quick since we can't do 1v1s Okay, let's get right into it. So we've already sh know what the first and second scale does, so I'll showcase the third, fourth, and fifth. So first thing off, the new stealth scale, you can just go into stealth, and then next time you trigger it, press it again, you teleport behind your enemy and suppress them. Your new dash skill, you can trigger it twice, and it does uh, a dash to them and then a dash through them. Uh, as you see, I also used the new trigger event, which uh, dashed towards them as well. And there's another, we can use the, oh, NPC blocked it. Okay, let's let him hit me. That's a long cooldown for our snake pierce. Press the new quick time event. Uh, snake pierce is the pole, but he blocked my pole. There's the pole again, short range though. You can teleport onto them. Honestly, I feel like this set is the more strong uh, suited one for 1v1s, to be honest with you. <laughs> so let's switch target real quick. Go to, let's do Flutus. Showcase it again. You don't want to use stealth right away, but uh, I just want to let you know that this stealth doesn't escape through suppressions and stuns like the first set does so there's something to keep note of you can teleport to them dash dash again pull more dashes <laughs> this class is just filled with dashes to go in and out very very aggressive playstyle uh, but the, the only thing you, you lose is the stealth escape, pretty much. But I think that's pretty much it. That's the difference between the first and second set. Snake Pierce is now uh, an active skill and not a tr trigger skill. Instead, you get a nice quick dash sneak attack uh, that brings you pretty much behind your target uh, for your new trigger event scale. And then you also have Diddly Sting, which has two parts to it. Uh, there is the first part that dashes to them, and then you can do World Cleave to dash uh, past them as well. You just have to click it twice. Uh, for Host of Ghosts, you infest your enemy with a Parasite, uh, which then detonates kind of like your soul devour but it does 45 percent combat power damage each mirage darkening stack increasing its damage by 100 percent up to a thousand more damage at thousand percent more damage at 10 stacks so there's a stacking mechanic involved here which will be really strong in the 1v1 situations which i also i guess this is why they use this for tails 
So the second set is really good for Tails. I also think it's actually quite good for 1v1s um, compared to the 1v1 Joust. I do have footage of me using this in Guild Wars. Second set was a poor decision. I don't think I had much of an impact with the second skill set. I think the first skill set would have been more geared towards Guild Wars. But we'll go into the footage now. Uh, in the Guild Wars, I am on my girlfriend's account because I had to wait for my class change on my main account uh, because I already changed back to Beggar from Strategist. So, tested the second set on her account. She is around 104k prowess. She was in the top 10 assassins uh, at that time, at that moment. But, she, you know, she's top 50, I think, in, in terms of actual power for the total rankings. So, should be a good showcase. Uh, this is literally the day it released which was uh, May 16th, I believe. May 16th is when it released. Um, I don't know what the hell I was doing. You can see that I don't know how to use my skills. Most of it, I was learning on the go. The first skill I kept using uh, as a starter instead of a follow-up. So definitely a big waste. As I said earlier, I feel like the second set is more geared towards 1v1s and tails. And the 1v1 set should be used for G-Wars. I'm too lazy to make footage for that. Uh, so we're just going to have to settle with this. But just take my word on it. I think the 1v1 set is better for G-Wars. Uh, there's a, definitely a lot of cons, as you'll be seeing in the, in the G-War footage. You're super squishy. Um, I just feel like you have very little impact. You can like disrupt an individual, but you're not going to be able to kill the individual. That's that's what I've been struggling with. Uh, again, girlfriend's account not that weak yet. Yeah, all of them just heal back to full before I could really finish them off or kill them off. Um, we're, you're more just kind of like a mosquito than you are an like a actual threat. <laughs> uh, I was playing very aggressive which is also an issue because I feel like assassins should be uh, aggressive but in G-Wars there's too many people for you to really take that aggressive approach unless you're you know, a beggar or a guardian so definitely having troubles um, I think the results would be the same even if I recorded 1v1 uh, Guild War footage of Assassin. I somehow ranked 12 in this G War, uh, even though I died a shit ton. But I think it was mainly because I was doing objectives, capping uh, the, the mobs that spawn at 15 minutes and 10 minutes. And then I think I also got the last hit on the boss. I, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, let the footage prove itself. Uh, but yeah, you know, take it at face value. Maybe you'll fare better maybe this is more your play style and i just suck ass <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it i'll leave it to you guys to decide enjoy the rest of the footage and hopefully this helps Nobody should be on the left side. Nobody should be on the left side. I gotta come in. Uh, six and eight and eight. Uh, team one, we're gonna help mid. Team one to mid. Team one to mid. Uh, guys, uh, push, uh, push back to left. Push back to left. Uh, team one back to left. Right. No, yeah, but actually, but that makes a lot. Because the 30 second, you guys just gotta come back. Come back. Yeah. Yeah, you, you guys didn't, you guys were waiting for the 30 seconds. Couldn't do much. Okay, guys, you guys, we gotta get left first. 6 7 8 should be on left. 6 7 8 should be on left.
Mob's in one minute. Mob's in one minute. Okay, teammate, get ready. Let, let, let's, let's, let's get left first. Okay, nice. Let's go. Uh, we're going to the, uh, go back to mid. 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 Team 3, can you go help mid? Team 3, go mid. 1 and 2, we can hold this. Uh, uh, team 8, team 8, get ready for mark. Yep. Team 1, if you have ult, uh, if you ulti, save your ulti for mobs. Uh, team 8, uh, get ready for mark. Save ulti for mark. Team 8 should be uh, going towards Mark. Alright, going towards Mark. Uh, team 3, come back to uh, come back to right. Okay, uh, push back out, push back out to uh, Team 1 to Mobs. Uh, team 7, push back out to, uh, uh, to, uh, to left. Uh, team 1 to so Mobs, team 1 to Mobs. Finish the Mobs and then back to right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we, uh, we got this. Uh, we got this. Push, 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 push. Six, seven, six, seven. Uh, two, uh, two left. He went back on. He went back on right. Hey, Fast. Team, if you guys finish walk, uh, uh, come to yeah. uh, left side. Uh, Let me know when you guys go mid. Okay. Uh, they're not. Uh, they're not coming over here. So. Uh, let's see. They're, they're not coming on the right side. Uh, you guys want us to push mid so they uh, to uh, spin the mid? We might be able to push right side. Okay. Uh, let me have teammates go mid. Let me have teammates go mid. Let me have teammates go mid. Let me Team, team one, once we flip this, we're gonna go mid to help him. Team one to mid now. Team is go st st still stay mid, stay mid. Uh, no one's in mid besides me. Get that, get that. Team one to mid. Multing on flag. Alright, uh, uh, team uh, 6 of 8, go to mid, 6 of 8 mid. Switch mid. Yep. Team's yep. Mid. If you guys can get here, we can flip. Yep, you guys can go back. Much, much easier. Uh, we'll stay one to flip. Take out Sorsha. Take seven oh, minutes mid. We gotta fit this one, we gotta fit this one. Yeah, we need to fit this one. Just the, the frame check is still. This is a balance right here. Alright, starting to flip, starting to flip. Just kill whoever you guys can. One less person equals a uh, equals flip. Flipping, okay, flipping. Nice. Once I flip, go back left. We'll go back right. Yep. They're coming back. They're coming back. One minute and thirty for Nick's mobs. Mobs. See if you can flip this one first. It's pretty balanced. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We, we gotta Are get this thing again. Yeah. Good. Good flip. Okay. Okay. Uh, six of eight to left. Six of eight to left. Yeah. One, two, three, go, back go. to right. Yep. Six of eight to left. Go. 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 One, two, three, back to right. We're gonna prep for mobs. Six of eight to left. Let's 
Everybody except for Mod uh, should be saving your ult. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, what is it? Uh, team 6, 7 should be in the middle. Alright, two mobs, team 1. Two mobs, guys, two mobs. Uh, team uh, 8. Mobs. Team one, let's start with the boss. Yeah, let's uh, uh, we'll take the boss. Okay. Hey, Color, you never know when you get to the boss. You don't know uh, the model. Yeah, can you, uh, can you use a guild skill? <laughs> uh, I, I can't, I, I can't, 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 I They're not attacking bots yet, they're just clear mobs. You can steal the mobs from them. Alright, kill a bunch of mobs. Okay, here comes the boss fight. Get ready to go. Boss. boss is gonna take lots of damage now. So, tanks get ready to super armor. I'll play when it's super armor. Everybody should be around boss. Tanks get ready to super armor. Super armor now. Tanks super armor. Use guild skill. Use guild skill. Commander skill. Well max. Ulti. Everybody burn the boss. Good shit. Back on left and right. Go back to left. Back on left and right. One, two, three, back to right. Right side's gone. We're a team one. We're gonna occupy. We're gonna like bug them on this. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay yeah, right. right. Uh, one and two go mid. One and two go mid. Go mid. Uh, uh what is it? Uh, uh, six and eight go mid. Six and eight go mid. One and two go mid. One and two go mid. Right. I'm gonna ulti this shit Evil. right here. We should be able to ulti the middle and then clear them up. Shall we starting to flip. Dude, I can't you guys do anything. Left. Nice, you guys got left. Sweet. 
We just need to hold I left and right like this. Let's see people on this. Uh, yeah, yeah, just hold, 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 hold left and right. Uh, six or eight, uh, uh, come back to, uh, oh, they're flipping up. They, uh, they're flipping. They're flipping yeah. up. <laughs> yep, they're flipping left. If they're flipping left, come, uh, come mid then. Yep, they got left, they got left. Alright, come in, come in, come in. Oh shit, they're gonna go be right behind you guys. Go mid, go mid, 6 away, go mid. This is gonna be a close one. Hold things, hold things. Keep it up. Nice, nice, nice. Good flip, good flip, good flip. Nice, nice, okay, uh, I think we're gonna go back to left. One, two, we're just gonna stay here for now. Let's get a left, there's only one thing on left. Let's try to get left first. Uh, two, one, two, back to right. One, two, back to right. Two back to right. Two back to right. One, two, three should be in right now. Good clear. Good clear. Nobody should be on mid right now. Just let them take it. Since that eight should be like over here. My team. Uh, six of eight. Mid. I still see people in mid. Let me know when you go mid. We're gonna send one, two, two mid. There's two more on the first floor. Go to mid. Six seven eight. Go to mid. One two to mid. One two to mid. Six seven eight. Just go to mid. One two to mid. One back to right. Team two back to right. Right is okay. Right is okay. Well, I see two of them. No, I see two teams coming to right. Six of eight should be back on um, left. Come on, come on, come on, let's do this. One and two, back on right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, right, right. Oh, right, right. oh my god, that died again. Oh, take it. Go mid, go mid, go mid. Good foot. Mid, mid, mid. Move to mid. One, two, we're gonna clear these guys and go mid and help them. Six times eight, go straight mid. Actually, no, we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay. It's a three, three, three. Here we go. 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 Free for all, just kill whoever you guys can. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna save more. We're gonna fight here, guys. Final verdict. I still say the first set is for G Wars, second set is for 1v1s and Tails. Overall, the class. Uh, it definitely has a lot of cons in terms of engagement, but it's still, you know, the, the typical assassin style class that a lot of people know and love through MMORPGs. So if you do like that kind of play style, sneaky, taking your enemies from behind, dashing around, then definitely this is the flashy class for you.